I hope you're doing well today. My name is Rebecca Lonzak and I am the marketing manager at Keelan Polymer UV Powder. We manufacture UV curable powder coatings that are used on composites, plastics, wood, metal, and other substrates. UV cured powder coatings cure with UV light energy instead of heat, utilizing lower temperatures and faster cure times. Heat sensitive materials such as plastic and carbon fiber can be finished without degradation or deformation of the part. Today, one of our research and development chemists, Hip Duan, will be performing a coat and cure demonstration using plasma pretreatment for a 3D printed drone body component using HP MultiJet Fusion technology. So you may be wondering, what is plasma pretreatment? The objective of using plasma as a pretreatment is to physically clean and etch the surface of a substrate and provide chemically active bonding sites for the coating to anchor to. Electrical energy in combination with plasma gas changes and modifies the surface of the substrate to increase adhesion. Plasma pretreatment replaces liquid electrocoat and phosphate pretreatment and comes in two forms, atmospheric and vacuum. Atmospheric occurs in an open environment and is a line of sight process in which only the surface area exposed to the plasma is treated. Vacuum plasma treatment, which is what we will be demonstrating today, is a chamber process with all the surfaces treated simultaneously and equally. Let's begin our coat and cure demo. Here Hib is applying this conductive agent and will immediately follow with the compressed air cycle to dry any excess primer. If a material is non-conductive, a conductive primer may be necessary. This primer allows for a material, such as this 3D printed drone body, to obtain a very thin and uniform conductive coat that allows for proper grounding and electrostatic powder deposition. The next step is to apply a plasma pretreatment to the part. HIP will now place the raw, untreated part inside the plasma treatment chamber, where the air is evacuated and placed under a vacuum. The selected gas is injected into the unit, and RF energy is supplied across the electrodes to generate the plasma treatment uniformly across the entire surface of the part. The pretreatment parameters, including processing time, RF power, gas flow rate, and vacuum pressure, can be adjusted accordingly depending on the part to ensure proper pretreating. Plasma is not always necessary, however, it does act as an adhesion promoter for trickier materials. The part is now plasma treated and ready for UV cured powder application. UV cured powder coating is then applied electrostatically using a handheld spray gun. The powder forms a cloud that carries a charge. The charged powder is then attracted to the grounded drone piece. HIP is ensuring an even layer of powder is applied to the part to obtain a coating thickness generally in the 2 to 3 mil range. The part is now hung on our UV lab line in our R&D facility. It moves down the conveyor, stopping and rotating in front of an IR panel for a few minutes. This is called the melt flow stage in which the powder flows and levels to a high viscosity liquid state and becomes one uniform mass. Here, the powder is subjected to low temperatures to enable the surface temperature to reach 120 degrees Celsius. Immediately after the melt phase is completed, the part travels down the line and stops in front of a bank of UV lamps, where the UV cured powder coating is instantly cross-linked and cured. Following cure, the process is complete and the part can be unloaded at the end of the line. The result is a fully cured, durable, UV cured powder coated finish. UV cured powder coatings offer many operational benefits, lower energy consumption, small plant footprint, and increased productivity. In addition to these operational benefits, UV cured powder coatings also have health, safety, and regulatory benefits. Being 100% solids, they are solvent and water-free and do not require permits to make or use. HIP is now gonna show us how to test adhesion. We will be testing today on a flat plaque that has the same chemistry and surface preparation as a 3D drone component. The plaque simply has the proper amount of surface area required to properly perform the adhesion test. ASTM D3359 is a standard and accepted test method used to measure and classify adhesion of a coating material to a substrate. 
the coating is cross-cut scribed at specified spacing using a knife. Pressure-sensitive tape is then applied over the scribed area and pulled off sharply. Adhesion is classified by the percentage of coating removed by the tape from the substrate. 5B is the optimum classification at 0% coating loss. 4B is often acceptable at less than or equal to 5% loss, and anything else is generally considered a failure and not acceptable. Here we have achieved a 5B adhesion. We hope that you found this Coat and Cure demo very beneficial and that you learned something new today about UV Cure powder coatings for plastics and composites. These substrates can be prepared using plasma pretreatment and then successfully coated using UV Cured powder coatings. For more information, please visit our website at kpuvpowder.com or you can send an email to info at Thank you for your time today.